What's you guys? Alex Chasen back here with a brand new video. Hopefully, having a great day, afternoon, or night, if you guys are in this world. But today's video, I only have $15 to spend to build the best possible starting five of all time with current day NBA players. I found a picture on Instagram that I really wanted to use for this challenge. If you do watch other 2K YouTubers, I'm not really a 2K YouTuber, I do like mostly just basketball videos, but if you watch 2K YouTubers in general, you probably saw some YouTubers like King of the Fourth Quarter do this. That's the only one I've seen do it. Anyways, we're gonna do that challenge and see if I can accomplish it, either going 82-0 or winning a championship or both. That'd be great too. Anyways, hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please drop a like and subscribe. Let's get it started. At point guard, there's still Steph Curry, Kyrie, Westbrook, Lillard, and Ben Simmons. I think all of them are steals, but I'm 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 between Westbrook and Kyrie right now. Westbrook, I think honestly, I'm gonna go with Westbrook for three dollars because it is the cheaper option, and also he's a passer, can play defense, can score the ball. Yes, not a good great shooter like Kyrie, Curry, or Dame. Obviously, Ben Simmons can't shoot, so I think I'm gonna go with Westbrook for three dollars. Uh, shooting guard, Harden, Oladipo, Beal, DeRozan, and Thompson. I think I might go budget with this, honestly. I think I'm going to have to go with Klay Thompson, so a total of $4 right now. I'm trying to build an overall good team, and Klay Thompson has great perimeter defense can and also can shoot the ball and lights out. He's one of the best shooters of all time. So I'm going to have to go with Westbrook for three, Klay for one. So that's at a total of $4. So I have $11 left to spare. And obviously, you know, I cannot not take LeBron James. So for five bucks, I will be choosing LeBron James. That's pretty easy. He has championship DNA. He is one of the best players of all time. So I cannot not take LeBron James. So for five bucks, I'll be taking the King LeBron James. That's a total of nine bucks. I got six bucks left to spare. So Giannis, uh, AD, I don't know why I blanked on his name for half a second. Blake Griffin, LaMarcus Aldridge, uh, Tobias Harris for power forward. So if I take AD, I will have two wait so because i'm at a total of nine dollars right now right yeah so if i take ad that'll put me up to that'll be four bucks right so i'll take me up to 13 and i'll have two dollars to spare so i can get drummond drummond's not bad but or i want to go more budget here and take someone who's still good like lamarcus aldridge for two dollars which will leave me with 11 bucks left and i can get someone like Jokic. Hmm, that's a tough decision. I would say put it down in the comments below. I mean, you can say what I should have done, but obviously it'd be too late to see it because the video will already be uploaded. Um, I think I'm going to have to go with Anthony Davis. And here's why. In 2K, Andre Drummond is an absolute beast. So I'm not too scared of having him, even though better options are Embiid, Jokic, Cat. You know, obviously Stephen Adams. Stephen Adams and Drummond are pretty close. So I think I'm gonna have to go with AD, which will put me up to 13 bucks. And for two dollars, I'll be picking Andre Drummond. So let's just recap this, make sure I didn't do any math wrong. So for three bucks, Russ, and then one for Clay, and then five for LeBron, which brings you up to nine, and then four for AD, which brings you up to 13, and then two for Drummond. Okay, so I didn't do any uh math incorrectly. Anyways, let's put these guys into 2K and randomly select the team. And let's see what happens. All right, so let's randomly select a team for the boys to be on. I'm gonna close my eyes and count to ten, uh, count down from five. One, uh, five, four, three, two, one. I don't know why that was so hard for me to count down, but it happened. The New York Knicks, okay. Luckily, no rebuild involved here. Just the team to put them on. And the only thing I'm gonna do, I've been thinking about it while I was just, you know, before I click record. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the bench. Do I just release everyone and then just have like a bunch of randos on the bench or I just keep like guys like Dennis Smith, Bullock, Knox who really aren't that good anyways and they're basically randos uh in their overall wise so I think I'm just gonna do that and not make it any more difficult than it has to be and I'm just gonna put the the guys I just decide to uh pick in the starting five and I'll see you guys in a second all right so I got the boys on the roster Westbrook, Clay Thompson, LeBron James, AD and Andre Drummond as you can tell they're playing a good amount of minutes all of them except Andre Drummond's only playing 32 I don't know, because he doesn't, I mean, he doesn't really bring much offensively. I just need him to play defense, so I thought 32 minutes was enough. And then on, off the bench, I did release Bobby Portis, because I think he's a start, starting caliber power forward in this league. He just plays on the bench in New York. So I took him off the team, but everyone else is basically the same. Trier, Frank Nielakina, Maurice Hartless, Damian Dotson. I did sign Channing Fry, Channing Fry just for some, you know, championship DNA. He played with LeBron back in Cleveland. I also just need another guy on the roster, and he was just really cheap, just like a minimum contract. And then, you know, Kevin Knox, Wayne Ellington, Dennis Smith Jr., Reggie Bullock, Ignis Perdowski, you know, the rest of the Knicks roster, the rest, the rest of the tra trash team. So anyways, let's get it started here. I do want to fire Fizdale. 
I'm not a fan of Fizdale. Let's bring in, you know, Michael Stauffer, the GOAT, the creator of the My League play players. He needs to do better with his job. I mean, My League's not terrible, but they could change a few things. Like, if you go three, three years down the line in 2K, guys like, I don't know, Alonzo Trier want $30 million. That's just so crazy. Anyways, hope you guys do enjoy this video. I'm going to simulate to the end of the season. It's going to be like a short, sweet video, I think. Probably still going to be like 15 minutes. No, I talk forever. Anyways, I'm going to simulate to the end of the season, and let's see what happens. Season's over. Luka wins MVP. 32. Ooh. 32. Almost triple-double. Crazy. John Morant, Rookie of the Year. Yusuf Nurkic, Sixth Man of the Year. Kawhi Leonard, Defensive Player of the Year. And Luka Doncic, Most Improved. Two awards. Her one award's hard enough. Two. Damn, he's going crazy. And coach of the year, my guy, Michael Stauffer, as you can see in the bottom left corner or bottom right, whatever you want to look at. We are 60, we went 67 and 15. We kind of had a bumpy road at the beginning of the season. Can I check out the calendar? Yeah, we kind of had a bumpy road at the beginning of the season losing, I don't know, I think like seven, eight games, like in the first, uh, in like the first like two months. And then we really stepped it up and then we only lost two games. I think, uh, yeah, in uh, April slash, uh, in April, we only lost two games and that was basically it. We went 67 and 15. Hey, that's a crazy record. That's still one of the best teams ever. But I was looking for more like 70 wins, 80 wins, which, you know, we were close. We were relatively close to 70. Let's check out the season stats. I think it was mostly because we had the Knicks bench, but like their deep bench. Like again, like I said, we got rid of Bobby Portis. So we basically after that just have their bad bench. But um, overall, we did really, really well, as you can see. 67 and 15. AD did his thing being our leading scorer. Uh, leading rebounder? No, Andre Drummond did. Okay, we'll get to that later, but let's just get with the points. You know, AD almost 24, 11, 4, 1, almost 3 blocks, shot very well. LeBron James did, you know, did his thing, one of the best players ever, 22 points, 6 rebounds, and 11 assists. That's what we got him on the team, to be the overall team player. 1 steal as well, shot very efficient too. Westbrook, 20 points, 7 rebounds, 8 assists, almost 1.5 steals. Uh, the turnover is not great, but it is Westbrook. What do you expect? But again, he's here to pass the ball, rebound, play defense, and score the ball as well. And that's exactly what I did. Can't ask for anything else. Clay Thompson, he did his role. Let's see. Let's see how we shot the three point. Uh, well, he did shoot a hey, 39%. Is still really, really good. But compared to every, this is his lowest three point shooting year. So again, 39% is still good. But when you're Clay Thompson gotta be above 40 percent so that's a little bit of a disappointment but still put up his numbers still played very good perimeter defense almost one steal a game so he did his thing but i wish he shot the ball a little better andre drummond did his thing for sure 13 points 15 rebounds is that a career high i don't think so no not a career high i think 16 yeah 16 was a career high but he's not too far off uh one assist one steal one block shot uh, was very efficient from the field also got 33 percent from three i'm not sure how many threes he took Let's see, 3 point, 48, 48 threes attempted, and he made 16. Not bad, Andre, not bad. If you can implement a three into your actual game in real life, you'll definitely move up the center charts, uh, well, center overall leaderboard, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. will definitely become a way better center. Uh, I don't really know, guys, if you care about, you know, these guys, but here you go if you want to pause the video and check them out. Uh, none of those guys really matter to this video at all. But a first round playing against the Miami Heat. I turned off trades and stuff. It was just kind of like a challenge to see how these guys would do. Injuries are off as well. So it should just be a regular team, you know. Regular Heat team. Let's simulate that round. Hopefully I don't fail this challenge like I failed the other two in the past week, week and a half, whatever it's been. Hopefully I do not fail this because that would be embarrassing. We're up 2-0, 3-0. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, 4-0 sweep. We'll be playing. Um, I'll be scared if we play Milwaukee. Because I got Giannis. They do got Giannis. Should have took him away if when I had the chance when I could have picked him for five bucks instead of AD for four. Didn't really think that one through because I'd rather have an AD Lakers than Giannis on a full Milwaukee team. Well, we'll know for next time if we lose. Same Milwaukee team. Let's simulate round one, two, three. Okay. Well, I had an irrational fear then. All right, 4 0 sweep against my team, the Boston Celtics. Just one of the best overall teams in the league with amazing young players and Jalen Brown. Where's Jalen Brown? He's coming off the bench. I'd rather have uh, JB start at small forward and have uh, Smart come off the... Oh, shooting guard and have Smart come off the bench or keep Smart and then put JB at small forward and have Hayward off the bench. But, you know, whatever. This is going to make it easier for us because we're just going to kill him. It's okay. One... Ooh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh! Okay. I'm going to sim cast this. Boston, like, come on. I talk trash, now they're about to beat my butt. 
Come on. No, no, no. I'm not losing this challenge. I'm not losing this challenge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay, the Clippers I am definitely scared of because I didn't take anyone away from that team. They got a full loaded roster and they're deciding not to put Lou Will on the bench or Montrez Harrell. They're having Zubak and P-Bev come off the bench. So that's a really good starting lineup. Uh, I, am, I just had to make sure my camera was recording. Okay, uh, we're back. Lou Will, Paul George, Kawhi, Marcus Morris. Uh, I'm scared. 1-0, 2-0, 2-3. Let's go! I won a challenge. Let's freaking go. Let me calm down. Let's get back to earth. Let's read the stats. <laughs> LeBron James is your finals MVP. 4-1 series. I mean, what could I expect? I was a little nervous based on the fact that the Clippers have their own little super team of themselves with Paul George, Kawhi, Lou Will, Zubac. You know the team. The regular team. They're not gelling amazingly well in real life. But if they did, they would be a god squad like they are in 2K. Let's check out the playoff stats for our team. AD killed it. Absolutely killed it. Russell Westbrook killed it as well. Top three guys right here, 20 plus points. That's how we won. That's amazing. Drummond did his thing with more rebounds. That is a career high in rebounds overall. I know it was in the playoffs, but still a career high in rebounds. Almost 14 and a half boards a game and shot the ball better, but did take a big step back in the three points. Okay. I wasn't expecting that to keep up as a trend. I was expecting it just to be like a little bump in the road. But hey, I'll take the 33% during the season. Next, Clay Thompson did take a step back, but did shoot the ball a little bit better from three. It's a little worse overall, but he did his thing. 13 points, five assists, two rebounds, one steal, great perimeter defense. Damn, his free throw shooting is pretty bad for being one of the best shooters. Even like 83%, 85, that's still pretty bad. I mean, it's not terrible, obviously. It's just, I would expect him to be close to like 90 or like 95. Anyways, Kevin Knox, Trier, blah, blah, blah. Again, if you want to see these guys, you can pause it and check them out. But this is awesome, super successful. Well, that was really fun. I've never been known to be great at 2K challenges or rebuilds. I usually just do them for fun and don't really post them too often just because I'm not great at them. I kind of just do it for fun. But this one, how could I fail? I had 15 bucks to build the best possible team I could. I mean, I could have done a few things differently. I could have thought it through a little more and picked Giannis since I knew I'd probably play him in the playoffs. Well, I guess I didn't know a team I was going to land on to put the players on. So anyways, I guess that's kind of a dumb reason. But anyways, it was a super fun video to make. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. There are so many other lists people have made with just guys 25 and younger. So we've done like JT, Luca, Jalen Brown, uh, Carl Anthony Towns. So like just a list of guys under 25. Then we have guys of veterans like LeBron, CP. So I'll definitely do another video like this using 15 bucks to build the best possible team ever. But this was just overall using stars in the NBA today. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please drop a like and subscribe. I'll be back very soon. And like always, peace.